Over Killer Nation, I want to uh, proceed this album review with uh, a pair of announcements. Uh, one of which is a personal announcement. The second one is some recognition. First one, you probably won't be able to tell until much later in this review, but I am sick. So that sucks, but I'm still going to press on, as always. Uh, secondly, the recognition. I want to recognize both Dream Theater and Anthrax for both making it onto the FYE Top 20 list, and in fact, Dream Theater was all the way up to, I believe it was number 4, number 5, and uh, Anthrax made it to number 11, so that's fantastic news, and it's showing that Metal is having a great month already here in September. So, let's move forward with another highly anticipated September release, one that was just leaked yesterday, however one in which I've had plenty of time to digest, listen to, and pretty much adore. And that is The Hunter by Mastodon, and I know that I kind of gave away my position on this album in uh, that particular introduction, and if you want to turn off the video, you're an idiot. No, not really. But uh, Mastodon's The Hunter is their first album here in a couple of years, ever since Crack the Sky was released back in 2009. And I remember that album very fondly, considering it was one of the very first album reviews that I ever did under the cover killer name. And it was one of the very, I think it was the second most successful one for uh, a little while, until I had done Immortals All Shall Fall. And on that particular album, I praised it for being a progressive masterpiece, because there was very lengthy tracks that had multiple parts to it that they were able to use. Uh, some very, very excellent musicianship and transitioning in order to really create uh, lengthy masterworks, as well as also producing songs that are very accessible to uh, the ears of maybe listeners that aren't core progressive or metal fans. Now with The Hunter, it's almost a completely different and diverse uh, beast. This is actually an album where none of the songs eclipse 5 minutes and 30 seconds in length, and as one reviewer had said, if you don't like metal, you may just love Mastodon. This is a band that is under the metal umbrella still, 100%. This is definitely sludgy, this definitely has progression, this definitely has a lot of hard rock elements to it. It's almost like a very trippy, like, Led Zeppelin, only with a lot of harder edges, and not nearly as much of a real, like, super-duper exploration with all avenues of music, but instead we have Mastodon staying within their sludginess and within their... Uh, progressions, uh, progressive side, and creating just lush and lavish masterworks that are able to accomplish their task in a very quick pace. And that's something that is unique about this album. They're able to combine different paces on this record. They don't necessarily have to maintain themselves with a very aggressive style. This is not something where they need to be quick all the time because the song lengths are a little shorter. No, instead, Mastodon is able to use atmosphere, they're able to use space, they're able to use time, and really combine everything along with their signature sound in order to create really, really dynamic environments that don't necessarily need any really specific, you know, Mastodon-specific tempo to them. Instead, it needs to only be explored. In fact, this is one of the first albums where it seemed like it was a little bit more of a collaborative effort, whereas... Every album up to this point, except for Leviathan, was a concept release. This release, The Hunter, uh, patterned itself more after Leviathan and the fact that there is no co uh, concept, and you can clearly tell on the song titles, everything just sounds ridiculous. The octopus has no friends. Stargasm, bedazzled fingernails. I mean, these are some really, really out there song titles that you would expect on some, like, I don't know, ridiculous screamo record, but instead it's Mastodon who basically is just saying, you know what, we don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck if you think that this is going to resemble Screamo because of the ridiculous song titles, because it's not Screamo, it's damn good progressive sludge metal with hard rock, Led Zeppelin, like, freaky, styly, out there, acid trip moments, and if you don't like it, then maybe you need to smoke a little more pot or something, because you're definitely too high strung. This is a great album, in fact, this is an album that I can't stop playing, especially in certain moments. I made the comment last night on Facebook that Stargasm's intro literally gave me a Stargasm. Yes, a universe was born, thanks to that particular song's introduction. But that's what Fingernails just sounds like a really, really weird hard rock song that <coughs> Mastodon was able to put their own spin on to. And then, of course, Curl of the Burl is one of the first songs that a lot of people heard, along with Black Tongue, and both of those are right at the forefront of the album. And, let's face it, whenever you have lyrics such as, I killed a man because he killed my goat, you know that this is a band that doesn't have to take themselves all that seriously in order to make fantastic music. These guys, once again, for the fourth straight album, were able to craft out something that was completely unique and stands alone in their catalog, and it works. That's the thing. 
There are a few bands out there that I could say whatever they touch seems to really lead to gold or whatever the saying may be, but this is a band that really is able to do it. Whatever direction that they decide to uh, to go, whatever project they decide to undertake, it just seems like they take their time, they really get into the project and they enjoy the experience, whether it be frustrating or whether it be a very calm, relaxing, very karmatic, chi, whatever the hell you want to call it, you know, zen process, and they were able to do a very good job with it. This is another album that proves that. I remember whenever Crack the Sky came out and I reviewed it, I gave it very high marks, and it was very high on the 2009 Album of the Year list. Expect the Hunter to be in the top 10. I'm going to say that again. Expect the Hunter to be in the top 10. This is a must-have release, ladies and gentlemen. Some of you may complain. Some of you may complain and say it sounds a little bit more commercial because they have a producer that's also done work with 50 Cent, Fiona Apple, and Alanis Morissette. That means nothing! This is just a dude that's behind a big production bench that's dealing with Mastodon, the same band that they were before. They're not going to turn into Fiona Apple or 50 Cent or Alanis Morissette or Fiona Morissette Apple. Scent. Whatever. Instead, he's going to transform this band and help them to channel the creativity that they were already channeling whenever they were demoing this stuff. Basically, all this is is progression of their music even though it's a little bit more stripped down, even though it doesn't have the same, maybe completely lavish, universal atmospheres that we heard on Crack the Sky, or any album previous to that. Maybe this isn't Blood Mountain for its dynamacy, but you know what The Hunter is? It stands alone as one of the most unique items that you're going to find in metal this year, and maybe for a long time. This is a step in the right direction, even though Mastodon did not need to take a step in the right direction. Every step they've taken from their debut to this particular moment has been a step in the proper direction. And this is just another step. Mastodon is going to go down as one of the most important metal bands of this generation because they're willing to take these risks. So check out this album and find out exactly what I mean. This is an album that's filled with many great songs. This is not an album that's only filled with a couple of highlights. Instead, this album is able to be in itself a highlight. A highlight for the year 2011. Mastodon, I reward you with 9 stars out of 10. 9 out of 10, whatever you want to call it. However, this numerical system that I've invented works. I rank half of them. I don't rank the other half. This is a good album. That's all that matters. Pe definitely check it out on the 27th of September. Rock on, guys. I'm going to go, you know, die.